us some information. What would people like to do? The choice is yours. Um, I have Mercy, a cold killer, as a friend. I'm wondering if maybe, seeing as they see the whisper in question seems to be physically inclined, if like a kind of bruiser, if maybe Mercy would have, if not associated with them, knew of them, as I mm. don't believe that a uh, spooky whisper that also gets into fisticuffs is very common. So maybe it would stick in her mind in some way. Let me a check. Ready. Oh, very nice. Nice. Yeah, as you find... You find Mercy, and just as you stumble on her location, there's that toll from Bellwether Crematorium. She walks out of a side alley, wearing a too, all too large top hat that you haven't ever seen her wear before. Hey. Do you have... Do you have time for a question, or do we need to leave? Let's walk and talk. Okay. So, as we both start just walking, I assume briskly, away from wherever the scene of the crime was, um... Uh... I've landed myself in a peculiar situation, and I need to ask you about a dead man. Ah. Uh, which I understand is your area of expertise. Uh, <laughs> Walking up it, Shuri. Of course, of course. So, a couple of acquaintance, acquaintances of mine have stumbled upon a particular spirit that uh, we need to know the identity of. They where Whisper, which is on the weeder side of things, and not exactly her cup of tea, but they also seem to be a pugilist, or at least got pudgled a couple of times and survived. Uh, uh, it's, the the figure isn't a spirit. They're not. They're alive. They're not a yeah. spirit? I thought they're they were spirit. dead. No. 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 Okay. They're part of the call, I so, back up. Um, okay. Yeah, so he's I'm just gonna assume it's a he. Uh, both a whisper and a melee fighter, which I personally haven't heard of, but I feel like it might stick out. What would you like to know about this? So, question to you as a player. Okay. Um, I mean, we wanted to know their name, I believe, but their name wouldn't really be as useful as like where to find them. I think, like where they normally be. Isn't it Barrowcleft? Barrowcleft. What are we? Do we just think they're part of the cult? Is that why we're wanting them? That's what Caroline said. They are part. They are, yeah. part they are part of the cult. I'm okay. sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just ask if uh, she knows uh, his name. Don't know the name. It's the one with the eyes. Don't forget those. Different colors. We already have that detail, so. Is there anything you specifically like to know about them? If you're okay, uh, there are some sort of 
the, the sample questions on the character sheet if you like as well. So you've got... Uh, yeah, I see. Under gather information. Yeah, if any of those are of particular interest. Do you know how I can get them to compromise their outfit? The people they're working with. Thank you for that clarification, especially yes. after the last part. I'm just... I know. <laughs> Bad I had to clarify. <laughs> the criminal outfit is a thing, guys. I promise. Who's arresting them? The fashion police? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's always something. Yeah. Friends, family, loved ones, depends how willing you are. I want to get this done as soon as possible. Anything else? Whether I need to know or not, that's up to you. If you need me to do it, just tell me when and where. Let me do some digging. Let's see what I can find. Alrighty. It's about... By the way, now would probably be about the time that... One second. We should probably turn here. We, I think there's a patrol coming this way. So, so that is where the scene would end. A As moment we're... of if she's musing whether or not she can take them or... Hmm. Follows you down the One tall... <laughs> intriguing. Three in a row... A problem. Come on, Mercy. Let's not. <laughs> You've changed. I remember when you used to be fun. <laughs> hmm. I will be. Just not here. So, it will, it's a day later when Mercy comes back to you with her information in the interim. Would anyone else like to gather information? Yeah, um, speaking of patrol, Barrowcliff is a larger, it's a large place, so asking around for a head of chrome a person been beating people up just you know l lowering the scope of mm -hmm. barrel cleft the district for sure gonna go with patrol even though it sucks for me what would this be Risky standard. Risky standard, yeah. I'll push myself one up. Oh, very nice. As you only find one person who's willing to talk. Everyone else clearly, clearly nervous. At least the ones that you either get shrugs and dismissives or slightly nervous twitching behavior and very much obviously feels that they, they'd be putting themselves in danger. Like I said, you get one person who is willing to talk, who is a... Older, older farm worker, dressed in the typical sort of button-down cotton, battered with mud, and very rough, coarse hands from a, a lifetime working working fields. 
as you as you approach them. They're stood to one side of a of a field. Looking out where there's this very, very tall grain that's swaying in the slight breeze, uh, and intertwined with the occasional radiant plant from which they draw light and energy. And what would you like to ask? Um, good. Good to meet you, sir. Uh, how, I've heard some rumblings of uh, rabble rouser going around. Cloth mask, uh, different colored eyes. I know. Have you heard of? Mm -hmm. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Where does he? Where this? Where do they usually frequent? Around here. Shows her face occasionally in the uh, nods back towards the buildings. People are scared, but I've seen fewer than me in there. Nods towards the, the green. The green? There's like big, big cornfields, sort of the, oh, the high, yeah. high rows of. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you see them. You see them sneaking in there from time to time. Mm -hmm. How many would you say? A rough number. Oh, it varies. Sometimes two. Sometimes five. I tend not to stick my nose where it's not wanted. Very smart of you. I lived this long doing just that, and I've done all right from it. Very helpful for me. Thank you. Anyone else? Can I just ask? Oh, go. Yeah, for sure. Go, go for it. So, sorry. sorry, go for it. I didn't really hear the name. There's a bar? Huh? Well, what was the place they were they meeting? Oh, Barrack. Uh, Barrack left. Hmm, yeah. They meet in a, basically a cornfield. Yeah. Cornfield, okay. Got it. Caroline? Yeah, uh, if possible, I'd like to, um, Gather more information from ghosts. Sure. Okay. I'm going with. Going with a tune. Have one five. What would you like to ask? Um, maybe places he frequent a lot, where he has tended to show up. Sorry, sorry again, your sound was looping there. Places he show up a lot. Shows up. Okay, there's... The, the spirit manifesting as you uh, stand overlooking the district as this decaying skeletal hand kind of points towards, points towards Barrack left as a whole and A small place where they conduct business. Is that so? There's hiding away as 
the spirit begins to lead you in various, various, various routes, different paths, and s stops outside a building before discorporating. You see, it's a stable, a blue coat stable for mountain for the mounted patrols. Is there a lot of blue goods around? Or is it? There's those that you maybe suspect to be blue coats, but the ones that are there aren't wearing the traditional blue coat. They're down to slacks and suspenders, sleeves rolled up, mucking out horses. They're not dressed for patrol. Mm. Okay, maybe we could work some distraction and replace those guys by Sasha's guys <laughs> at some point. Get some privacy. So with that, let's go to an engagement role. Question one, is this plan overly bold or daring? I'll take a no. <laughs> I don't believe so. No. Does this pl plan exploit a vulnerability or hit your target where they're weakest? Uh, I mean, that's kind of what I was trying to do with Mercy. <laughs> so depending on how they uh, uh, follow through. So what was the... Uh, remind me, because Mercy was going to come back, wasn't she, with the extra information? Sorry, I forgot my last. Yeah, um, I was just wonder. I asked her or what was the best way to get the this mass person to like compromise the group they're a part of oh that was it so yeah mercy so some sort of leverage back. yeah mercy gets back in contact and having tracked down a very very unassuming hovel in barrack in in dunslow Everyone's got a family. People they care about. And what's he got? Elderly aunts. That's. Huh. Well, I guess I should introduce myself. And while I guess I don't know if Gaz would like try to intimidate this aunt or if I think he'd be very courteous. He'd get to know their name, uh, like maybe observe a couple of things that they they may like like to do just maybe like something some little hobby they may have uh and then just say so it's probably more likely part of the score yeah okay okay so uh but you can certainly yeah tick the box for a vulnerability or weakness got it got it got it um so can any of your friends or allies provide assistance I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it. Are there any other factors you would like to consider? Again, that seems like a no. Yeah. So. 
with that, that is... Uh, what's the, also, what approach are you taking on this? So... It's the... The ones for the imperative, right? Or is mm -hmm. that the... It's tied specifically to playbook, so you would only have access to blue coat at this time. Uh, got it. Or the standard scoundrel ones. Yeah. Okay. Um. I mean, would this just be? Would it just be an assault, or just trying to, like... Assault works. Yeah. I guess, could the point of attack be the aunt? I know, it sounds rough, but... <laughs> Who aunt me? Yeah. You'd like to make that call. I mean, what are, are we just gonna attack them in the middle of the cornfield? Uh, or that could be it. Actual they cornfield. Need, they need uh, every other. <laughs> I don't know. Their meetings aren't uh, whenever they meet up. It's not regular times, but it's often enough that you can intercept. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, which sounds better to y'all? Cornfield, where we might intercept them, or Aunt? I think Cornfield. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. Uh, let's... You go for that, and what load is everyone taking? Rogue? Normal. Normal. Cool. Crow? Light. Is that the Sasha? first time you've picked anything other than heavy? Normal. And Caroline? Uh, normal. Let's roll them. Okay. That's a three. Yeah! <laughs> Classic. Things went... Not good. The, the term not good is thrown around. It's more... As you approach... And begin to... To go through tracking your... You see movement from within. And as you begin to walk between the between the rows, the corn rows, all of you begin to hear those whispers. You're aware of movement ahead as a figure steps between a line of, of the corn. Almost seconds later, another one behind you. What do you like to do? Um, can Gaz have a flashback where he just politely talks with that aunt and just gathers, like, miscellaneous information about her, like her name? Uh, he knows where she lives, uh, and just, like, one 
weird, like one small fact, like she likes to knit sure, or for. something like that. Uh, um, go for it. Uh, and then, yeah, um, he just look around and he, and he, there's figures like around us, right? You can't, you can't keep, you can't see any of them. Then they seem to be moving, but they're stepping between like the rows of the corn, so they're you're getting catching, kind of catching glimpses of them. Occasionally, there's a rustle from the from the uh, from the from all of the from all the crops. Uh, Gaz would just kind of look around and just be like, Gladys, off of Cole Street. I'm gonna it's say the... you, for that flashback. Flashback, maybe a check. All right. Would I be making a check and also taking the stress associated with doing yes. a flashback? Okay. Yes, you always take stress for a flashback. So, yeah. How much stress would it be for this? It's just a one. You're not. Okay. You're not going there. Armed up or anything like that. Right. What do you get? I got a six. Um. On a command, it's more of an intimidation. Well, so. it's one of them is a uh, force of personality, so it's not. I'm invited in. I'm like, oh, oh okay. hello, hi, uh, yes. Okay. Um, ah, can like I please know? get your name? <laughs> uh, so yeah, a very elderly, stooped, frail woman, headscarf, craggy features, and you also notice. The misty yellow eyes of heavy cataracts, mm. um, and you—you're after her name specifically, mm -hmm. Vera. Vera. So yeah, I'd just be looking on the mist. I'm like, oh yeah, that Vera. Ah, she's such a darling. It's such a shame that her eyesight's just failing her these days. <sighs> Soon enough, it'd be she's having a hard enough time taking care of that little hovel she's in. It'd be such a shame if one of my companions were to make life even more difficult for her, wouldn't it? Just Maybe it's yelling out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so now this is a very important question. The stress mm -hmm. I took last session, would that be gone now, or would that still be on my character sheet? Since uh, we have oh, now switched to... timelines. Yes. yes, I'd say I'd say clear clear us out. Okay. And ever everyone could do that. It's sort of a, a fresh fresh slate on stress. Got it. But not traumas probably. Not trauma, no. <laughs> Critical! Oh, very nice. As you hear a, amid those whispers, you hear voices. Don't, don't bite, don't bite, don't bite. As and the the footsteps, and you you, you hear the the call rustle as someone is making a direct line towards you. Would you like an additional effect? Would I like an additional effect? On your crit, yeah. What would you? Oh. Um, I mean, what would it even be? Uh, I mean, I just wanted to lure him out, really. I guess if he's oh, you, yeah, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. There's it's it's blinkered, blind, yeah, red mist. Um, so it's almost animalistic behavior at this point. So uh, when you make your next check, you can do that with a plus one or a greater effect. Up to you. You essentially get a free push. Alrighty. Uh, so, as others others begin to circulate and trying to talk this figure down, it's just let it go, let it go, let it. Go. What is he doing? What? 
Crow. What would you like to do? I want to attempt to study the area to see if I can't figure out exactly how many people aren't moving are moving between the to get an exact count of how many we're faced with essentially. Go for it, mate. Make that check. Desperate or is a standard or risky? Uh, I'd say this is standard limited. Line of sight is obscured. You... I'll, I'll push myself to make that um, standard effect. Okay. Five. Including the the figure who is checking up the very obviously coming coming from your left hand side looking to cut you off in the past you can hear at least another four voices so total of five total of five yeah at least five margin of error within acceptable ranges. Sasha. Can't hear you. Mm -mm. We'll jump over to Caroline. What would you like to say? lost sorry I'm a little bit lost uh, so at the moment currently in this in this cornfield looking to track down this this group and this retinue of your target Gaz has provoked him by mentioning the name of his elderly aunt and now he's closing in with this red mist of rage while his associates are attempting to call essentially call him back and but proving him to be incredibly volatile hmm I could I could compel um, dead relatives I would say desperate action. <laughs> Go. <laughs> that is heartbreaking on a desperate action. You have four dice in that. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, you're back. Uh, right in time for uh, Gaz. Yeah. Sasha, please make me some resistance checks with resolve. So sorry. Oh, Imagine I'm this bad is... at resolve resistance. Jeez. Imagine being a robot and not having this affect them. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost this like you're some sort of robot powered ghost powered robot right it's uh um this is savvy 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 for no, it's just, uh so it's you your so what would the harm be oh, would it be harm or would it be some other effect oh it's another oh. effect. Uh, i don't like that yeah i'd rather not get possessed <gasps> thank you very much <laughs> Okay. I've been conviction. Caroline, would you like to would you like to resist as well? 
that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe there is stuff. Oh. As <laughs> five stress. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> By the way, I I, I just want to. I do. I did technically. I do have ghost mind. So what exactly is going on in the ghost field right now? I just. I I gotta know. <laughs> It's... Everything is being drawn in at this point. There's... Dissipating, that dissipating smoke that's made its way through the... You can just make it above, up above the, the, the heads of corn. As it something will... Discorporate and then re, uh, re-emerge somewhere else. And... Caroline, you hear a voice... At the back of your mind, you left me to die forgotten. Body, and I want it. Can I answer that? Any capacity? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'll just quickly do my role. Sorry. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Karen, just gonna answer, answer. Well, then just tell me where you are. We can fix this. I'm right here with you now. And there's a moment where you think, you feel your fingers twitch almost without any provocation. Can you please start a 10 piece clock for possession? Hmm? I. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> As you're fighting back, uh, there's um, three pieces and you resisted. So two pieces filled in. Oof. You can also resist, you can also lower that clock by the same way you would with heat or anything like that as a downtime action. So you can push back against it as much as you, as much as you like. Um, let's go. Robin, what were you, what were you doing? What was Sasha doing? Well, I was going to commend um, Crow for figuring out there were five of them. But now there seems to be more forces at hand. So. I think that's fair. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Um, I'm gonna. Oh, shoot. I'm gonna try to figure out at least where. One of the other ones seem to be. One of the five, like they're um, like where exactly they are. Can I do that? Absolutely, go for it. Go so sweep. Would this be um lower effect, limited? Uh, limited effect, yes, through the. Uh... Yeah, there's very little range and visibility. It's just the sort of there we six go. and a half to seven foot corn around you. Success with the complication as you you step through from one one line to another, as you're able to reach through, kind of grab someone, and they swing back, death, desperately, kind of flailing, trying to as you manage to get hand on a hand on a sleeve of a coat as you feel them try to, to wriggle out of it would you like to resist for sure oh wait and maintain your grip what is it actually i think i'll take it <laughs> they i don't away? have that part. oh they get away they're, they're fighting to get loose yes oh 
Do I? Yeah, yeah I'll ro um try to resist. Wait, do I roll resistance roll or do I roll uh, like prowess? Roll? Yes. Yeah, you you roll prowess too. Or whichever one your subdue is in. Yep. Yeah. Makes the most sense. Two. Okay. There we go. As, as as they manage to get the arm out, you're able to get another hand around the around their front arm, uh, with your chin kind of under their neck. Mm. Face covered with cloth wrapped bandages. A hat which is threatening to be knocked off at any moment, as they're with their, their now free arm, sort of struggling to keep it on, keep their identity secret, desperately trying to get away. Gas, the uh, you see the crow, uh, the crow, the corn swaying backwards and forwards as uh, as your main target closes in on you. What would you like to do? I. I'm the basilisk. There's only one thing I will do. Um, I'm pulling out my fine, heavy weapon, which for some reason in this time is like a just sledgehammer. It's barely it can barely be called a sledgehammer because it's just a hunk of metal on the end. There, There is no real forming done. He probably just pulled this out somewhere and it's been working well enough for him. Um, uh, he takes that out plops it down and looks over just to confirm we just want them to not do anything right not say yeah, so we, we don't really need to take witnesses huh mm -hmm. not really no okay um as i uncork uh, my rage essence vial down that and so, and it so greatly desperate, enhances, huh? Desperate is a desperate action, greater effect. Okay, uh, I would like. Anything in your way is gonna get is gonna get hit. So, yeah. Um, you don't you don't distinguish who you're up against. It's... As part of it, you suffer two consequences: can't tell friend from foe, and can't stop until they're all broken. You may resist these as usual. So, I would like to. Yeah. So, okay. I'd say roll roll first and see. All you, right, you, all right. Yeah. So it's it the skirmish, it desperate. Um, gonna say great effect. Um, I'm gonna use that advantage I had before to give myself the uh, plus one die. Is that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, okay. Got it. Got <laughs> Good thing I had that plus one die. <laughs> Absolutely, as. The figure breaks through the the line of corn, and if it weren't for the, your own, if feral instincts, you would recognise the same. He's done the same thing. The eyes have this animalism to them, as you sw uh, you swing out. What would you What would you like to do? I'm probably, like, just gonna go for, like, center mass. Like, I'm not aiming for any fancy tricks sweeping out of his legs. I just want to take his momentum and make it come to a sudden stop. Absolutely. And he goes down and you feel a, as he does, you feel a sharp pain through your, uh, to the, to just below your ribs at the, at your, at the moment means nothing absolutely nothing barely feel it but that is actually a level two harm where you've been stabbed absolutely it's down and kind of hooks this hook knife that as he falls down kind of tears through into your abdomen that, and across is that like a partial disembowelment right there pretty much yeah it's just the rage essence you're going you're purely running on instinct awesome right? it's like uh <laughs> definitely gonna die here <laughs> <laughs> Classic, man. As with Caroline, 
Yeah. You see through the ghost field, and where Rusted Crow was, you see who that machine once was. A warden holding a cracked mask. Hello, Caroline. Hello? Not the way I wanted things to go. Not the way I wanted to see everybody again. What do you mean? Who are you? You're the spirit in the hole, right? I am now. I was not always. I made a decision in order to give Duskfall a chance. And things have been changed so much that I barely recognize it. Was it worth it? That, unfortunately, remains to be seen. I most certainly have doubts that could turn into regrets. Will likely turn into regrets. Um, let's just say if you're in the mood for <laughs> helping out a dead person, as it were, seek out a tower bell known as Squirrel. She won't remember me. No one does. Just watch over her. Sure. And if the way could remember you? That is not something I have an answer to. I'll do what you ask, of course. And I'll try. But for now... I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere. <laughs> Nathan kind of chuckles and, you know, kind of gestures towards the... Towards... The image of the hall's chest. The... It's not like I can really go anywhere. Um... But... Our work is yet... Not yet done. We need to finish this. Yes. Ready when you are. And as everything kind of snaps back and the the, the ghost field de deteriorates, becomes the material world once again, all that stands there is the automaton figure. The smell of blood in the air from as to the side you see Gaz violently swinging that makeshift sledgehammer. Sasha grappling with one of the others. You have just finished listening to this week's episode of Blades in the Dark, What Happens in the Dusk, part of the Domain Gaming 
written and told by LifeSpark. A special thanks to you, the listener, and if you wish to continue supporting us, subscribe, like, and share. As always, comments are welcomed. Until the next chapter. You've heard the silent song. We all have the legend of guesses. Some foolishness about a world as it was meant to be. A city of ghosts. An illusion that you can begin again. How much would you give for silence?